Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your very first project in Cubase. From setting up a brand new session, to connecting your audio interface, to recording your first sound. If you've just installed Cubase and you don't know where to start, this is the perfect place to begin. So let's get into it. When you open up Cubase for the first time, you'll come to this Cubase hub. This section here will be blank because this section displays all of your recent activity. So what I want you to do is create a blank session. First, we're going to click here and we're going to set the folder which you want to save your files to. And then you're also going to set a project folder name here and then just click on create empty. We have a blank workspace right now, but think of this as our canvas for recording and arranging. But before we record anything, let's make sure Cubase is connected to your audio interface. So we'll come up to studio, studio setup, and in this audio system here, make sure for ASIO driver, you've got your interface selected here. I'm using a Focusrite interface, so I have Focusrite USB ASIO selected here. Next, open up Audio Connections. This is where we assign all of our inputs and our outputs. Input 1 might be your microphone, input 2 might be your guitar line in. You can set these up here. In the Outputs tab, these might be your speakers. You'll set up your left and right speaker channels here. And yours will look a little different to mine because I have the control room enabled in my setup. And this just adds extra routing options for monitoring or reference speakers. Or if you're recording musicians, you can set up your talkback microphone here. If you'd like to learn how that works or how to set it up properly, I've made a full walkthrough on the control room feature in Cubase. You can click the card up here to check out the video or I'll include a link to it in the description. For now, as long as you see the meters move in Cubase when you speak or play, then everything is set up and ready to go. Now let's add in an instrument track. We can click the plus here to add a track and we'll select instrument. And from this list, we have a big drop down. Let's select Harleon Sonic. This one is built right into Cubase. It comes free with the software and it's perfect for getting started. In the Harleon window, let's pick a sound we'd like here. Let's say this one. Alrighty. And if you don't have a MIDI keyboard to control your VST instruments in Cubase, you can also press Alt-K like this to bring up a keyboard. So you can see if I use this keys, oh, and if I want to go increase the volume, maybe I want to go along an octave. And just as well, if you're not hearing any sound, just double check record enable is turned on. If your track is just like this, it doesn't matter what we play nothing's going to come through. Just click this circle here. And make sure record enable is turned on. So if you want to record this, bring your playhead to the start and you can either hit this big record transport button here, or you can press the symbol that looks like this on your keyboard number pad. And if you want to play it back, simply click on the part which you want to play back and press spacebar again. If you notice your timing is off, you can come in here and press Q to quantize it to the grid. And this button up here is where you select how hard you want things to quantize. If you want to just quantize to every quarter note, so this will sound like this. But we can also double tap on this and this brings up a MIDI window that looks like this, where we also have options to, we can quantize in here as well. We can also change velocity. So this third note here is a bit too quiet. Here, instead of this being down low, I can click up here to increase the volume like that. Maybe let's quantize like that. The other thing with the quantize as well, we also have a soft quantize. So if this is turned off, if I show you, if I zoom in like this and you'll see, 
it hard snaps everything to the grid. But if I turn this on, it kind of, it doesn't quite hard snap, it takes a few goes. But if you want to keep a little bit of human element in it, but you still want to clean up the recording, try this feature. And that's your first recording done. If you have a microphone or guitar plugged into your interface, then let's record that as well. We'll come back into this window. And again, we can click the plus. Another way to add a track is also right click and add audio track. Let's say stereo in. Currently my microphone is set up in the talk room as the talkback microphone. So I'm gonna set that. Let's call this microphone. Add track. And now, one, two, one, two. So if I record this. I can't sing to save my life. Now if we play back this again. If this is too quiet, we can always boost the volume. If we wanna turn it right down, we can also do that as well. And if you have some recordings that you want to mute, you can also press Alt M to mute. And that will keep the audio there, but it will just mute it so you won't hear it in playback. If you have an interface with lots of inputs and you have lots of things plugged in, then you would simply add in an audio track and you would have in lots more inputs here that you would select your other instruments for. And when you are ready to start mixing your song, you can press F3 to bring up the mix window like this. Here we automatically have the inserts tab. Let's say we want to add an EQ. Let's add in our favorite, Pro-Q. Let's say we want to add in a compressor, compress. Let's pick one, let's pick one of these cool Steinberg ones. And if you ever want to copy your plugins, or your inserts from one track to another, you can press Alt and drag it over there like that. But this is where you shape your sound once you've recorded your parts. If you want to process multiple tracks together, then simply Control or Shift click and select the tracks that you want to process. And then right click, and press Add Group Track to Selected Tracks. And now we have, let's call this, just call this group one. And now we have a group channel which controls the volume level of all of these. So if we play back, let's just unmute this. So I can, let's put this back up. I can balance it like that, or I can control the group channel here. And I can see up in here in this routing, if I add more group channels like this, I can add group channel, group two, like this, I can always change the routing to a different group if I have another set of instruments that I want to add. And one more quick tip with the mix window, you can control individual faders like this, but if you want to move multiple faders at the same time, simply again highlight the tracks that you want to move the faders on, hold down Alt and Shift on your keyboard, focus on this Q-Link bit. We enable Q-Link and this allows us to drag up and down the tracks. As soon as we take our hands off Shift and Alt, it defaults back to this. You can always add more VST instruments using the same methods we covered earlier. by focus on getting comfortable in the mix window and with inserts. These are the heart of Cubase when it comes to mixing. And that's it, your first Cubase project is ready to go. You've set up a new session, you've connected your audio interface, you've added in a VST instrument, and you've recorded your own performance. From here, you can start exploring tempo changes, time signature changes, templates, and many, many more advanced workflow hacks, all of which we cover here on this channel. If this helped you get started, give it a like and subscribe below and check out the next video on how to change tempo in Cubase. Have a good one.